Finally tonight, in one of the most famous teachings about love, St. Paul wrote that love is patient, endures all things, and never loses hope. Steve Hartman found living proof on the road. I'll take another kiss. Maya Shand of Windsor, Connecticut, can't keep her hands off her husband, Mark. She's constantly pinching and patting and preening the poor guy. Would you stop fixing my clothes? <laughs> if you didn't know better, you'd think they were newlyweds. But Mark and Maya have been together for years. What's different now is that they're finally, actually, together. Mm. We just separated, that's it. They're a long hiatus. Yeah. The story of their separation is so defining, Mark has every moment of it tattooed on his arm. 26 years, 11 months, 4 days, 20 hours, 26 minutes, and 8 seconds. And all of it for nothing. Here's what happened. In 1986, about a year after they met, Mark was arrested, convicted, and sentenced to life without parole for a murder we now know he didn't commit. Last fall, lawyers from the Innocence Project proved he had nothing to do with the crime. Three months later, the hugs still haven't stopped as Mark and Maya continue to celebrate not only his vindication, but her dedication. I never gave up, never. They got me for 27 years, but I got Maya. <laughs> Mark knows not many women would wait around like Maya did, especially considering they weren't even married when he was arrested. Maya, who works at a beauty parlor, says she knew he was innocent and she was pregnant with his child at the time. So she stayed with him, drove five hours round trip every week to visit. Why didn't you tell her to just move on? I did. I said, I think you deserve better than this. This is not a normal life. It's not a normal setting. Didn't need to seek out nowhere else because my heart was where it was supposed to be. Once Mark realized Maya wasn't going anywhere, he proposed. They got married in the visiting room. Maya raised their son alone and helped raise his two other boys from previous relationships. The woman is clearly a saint. You know this guy owes you big time. Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> a double oven. A double oven, that's all you want out of the deal. So he knows I like to cook. That's all you need, huh? That's all I need. He's home, that's all I ever wanted. That's ever, all I ever wanted from him. Mwah. This week, Mark, Maya, their three boys, and four grandchildren got together for their first family dinner of the new year. It was all smiles, until after the prayer, when Maya just broke down. Mark wanted to know what was wrong. Come here, what's the matter with you? But that was the thing. Maya, what's wrong? For the first time in 27 years, cry, don't do that. Don't absolutely nothing was wrong. There's many more to come to. Steve Hartman, on the road, in Windsor, Connecticut. You all right? Mm -hmm. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley. I'll see you Sunday on 60 Minutes Presents. Good night.